You guys always want to know, what is the best supplement for erectile dysfunction? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and if you're new here, I always bring evidence-based content regarding urologic health every Monday and Friday. And today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the newest data on a supplement called L-Arginine. And before I dive into that, I want to be sure that you guys understand that supplements are just that. They supplement your health. They are not a substitute for taking good care of your body, meaning managing your high blood pressure, managing your diabetes, eating well, and exercising regularly. These things are not going to fix your sexual function unless those things are optimized as well. The number one cause of erectile dysfunction in men is vascular erectile dysfunction, meaning that it's usually due to things like high blood pressure or diabetes that are affecting the blood flow to the penis. To start off, what is L-arginine? Well, it's an amino acid, meaning it's a building block of protein, and it usually gets into your body through eating your food. The interesting thing about L-arginine is it is a substrate or building block for nitric oxide. And if you've seen some of my videos before, you'll know that nitric oxide is essentially an ignition for erections. And so a lot of the supplements and treatments that are out there tend to focus on building, increasing nitric oxide. And what it does is it allows the smooth muscle in the penis to relax so blood can fill in and gorge that erectile tissue to create the erection. If you're not really understanding what I'm talking about, make sure you check out my masterclass on male anatomy to learn a little bit more about exactly what is down there, as well as my video on Tadalafil versus Sildenafil where I talk about how erections happen. And in our bodies, the arginine levels can go down due to a number of factors, including stress, high blood pressure, diabetes, chronic illnesses, all those things can affect the levels of arginine in our bloodstream, which can then make it harder to get erections in addition to having reduced blood flow. In 2019, a group of Korean researchers did a systematic review and meta-analysis on the use of L-arginine for men with mild to moderate erectile dysfunction. From this, they found 10 randomized controlled trials. People got L-arginine anywhere from 1.5 to 5 grams of L-arginine and compared it to a group of people who got either a placebo or no treatment at all and looked at their outcomes as far as erectile function is concerned. And what they found was that Overall, L-arginine did significantly improve erectile dysfunction compared to those who got placebo. And specifically, they even got improvement in domains such as overall satisfaction, intercourse satisfaction, and orgasmic function. However, this meta-analysis only focused on men with mild to moderate erectile dysfunction, as well as they could have gotten citrulline, which is a precursor of arginine. And often that is easier to take than L-arginine. The reason being is L-arginine is very rapidly metabolized by our bodies, and so it needs to be taken very frequently. Also, a lot of the trials that were included were short duration, meaning they were somewhere between two to four weeks. There was some that were eight and a few that were 12 weeks, but most of them were smaller studies, and they had different doses and different formulations. In response to that, a new study just got published where the authors wanted to look at L-arginine as a single compound, meaning it wasn't combined with anything, it wasn't citrulline, and over the course of three months as well as those with severe erectile dysfunction, meaning they were probably not able to get erections that were sufficient for penetrative intercourse at all. In this group, they randomized 100 men to either receive L-arginine six grams a day for three months or get a placebo. So those who were in the experimental group got the L-arginine three times a day, two grams each dose after meals. Also, they couldn't be taking any other medications that could increase the blood flow or nitric oxide levels. So if they were on other supplements or taking other medications for erectile function, they were not included in this study. And interestingly, most often these studies, they look at a specific validated questionnaire called the International Index of Erectile Function. And this has been validated, which means that many populations have taken it and has been correlated with their degree of erectile dysfunction. They also did a penile Doppler ultrasound to look at the blood flow in the penis itself and to see if that truly changed with the supplementation. After three months, they found that 74% of men had improvement in their erectile function. The majority of them had some improvement, I meaning they still had some issues, but they were significantly easier to overcome. And things like sildenafil and tadalafil would probably help get them even stronger erections. 
24% of men had no erectile dysfunction after taking the supplement for three months. As far as safety in the patients taking L-arginine, there was a significant increase in cholesterol, specifically HDL. So I know a lot of people think supplements are very, very safe, but some of them do require monitoring. In this study, they also found other side effects of heartburn, itching, specifically scrotal itching. And while not in this study, other groups have found that when taking high doses of L-arginine, people do get low blood pressure. And it's important to realize that in this study, they had a really small number of patients, only 100 patients. And it wasn't really powered to detect a difference, meaning that when they looked at this, they didn't design the study for a specific number in mind, saying that if we look at this number of patients, we'll see this percentage of a difference in the two groups. And while there was improvement, were the men themselves actually satisfied? And that's really what matters. And that's not indicated. They didn't actually test patient satisfaction at the end of this study. Lastly, as Dr. Gio mentioned in our video about supplements, he prefers to give L-citrulline over L-arginine because L-arginine is very quickly metabolized by our body. That's why they have to take it three times a day, whereas L-citrulline tends to last a little bit longer. So as always, I hope you guys found this video interesting and remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.